Hello everyone, you're in Endurance Lazy Lab. In this video I want to show you how you may engrave using our 10 watt deluxe uh, laser uh, on different aluminum sheets. Actually we are going to use anodized aluminum sheets. We prepared uh, different colors. So I want to show you that with our laser you can engrave on all four pieces. So as for these three, I'm pretty positive that they are all anodized. This can be uh, painted, so uh, I do not really know uh, because some people say it's anodized, some people say that it's painted. Anyway, let's uh, start the engraving process. Uh, I am going, I removed a uh, air nozzle. Uh, you see it's over here. Oh, well, just uh, so you could have a clear vision. And let's uh, start the engraving process. I use software uh, Lightburn. I really like this software for engraving. And the speed is uh, one. Oh no, let's make uh, two fifty. So our laser is in on the left uh, button on uh, first position which means uh, TTL mode and let's start uh, the engraving process okay do not forget to wear goggles all the time you operate the laser it's very important so You could probably make it faster, but uh, we decided that this speed is also good. Okay, let's see the result. Okay. Always a trick to show it. Okay, yeah, now you can see it's GF. At endurancerobots.com. So this is a first uh, piece. Let's try on this one. So actually, we did engrave it on our DPSS laser model, and I want to show you that you can also engrave here. Okay, uh, I'll put it over here. So I'm focus. We'll we'll uh, keep the same speed just for simplicity. I'm not sure that I am in the center. Okay, let's start. Oh, I think I missed it. Oh, yeah. Probably I need to stop it. Yeah, okay, anyway, you'll see. G mm -hmm. Okay So you can see that Also engraved well oh, I fucked up with F but uh, you can see that the same speed is 250 and it works good so let's do on on red piece I don't want to miss this time okay and the same speed is 250 so 250 millimeters uh, per minute. Also keep in mind that uh, all of you get these uh, cards where you have the name, assembling time, uh, diode voltage and current. And also we have its uh, diode heat power that we measure with a calorimeter and we have a focus range. So that's what I want to point you at so that you need to remain in focus and I do suggest to take just a ruler and uh, check it out. So we did it for simplicity so that you don't need to focus. Here we have it on 
60 millimeters and in our in our card we have it 40 55 65 so that's uh, that's an average okay let's see what we got there okay you can see the result so also same power 100 percent and 250 speed okay and the last piece is uh, like golden plated it's not really golden but it looks like it and uh, here because the material is uh, reflective kind of reflective so I think that we need just to reduce speed let's put 150 150 and we are ready So, like I said, also always wear goggles while you operate the laser. Green or red doesn't matter. We have dark green. Okay. So almost ready. We should see something. Actually, you can make speed. Yeah, you can uh, see it's not really as good as on other materials. Yeah, I can see, but not very. Very good. Okay, yeah, you can see. So probably I would need to set up a speed something like 100 or even or even uh, 75 and then you would see it's much better. But anyway, uh, you need to remain in focus for good engraving and also you need to set up proper speed but all the rest uh, everything everything's fine so it doesn't matter which color you are engraving if it's anodized our 10 watt deluxe laser should do it so i hope that you like this video please share it with your friends if you have any questions text me plus seven nine one six two two five four three two this is my cell phone or email me at gf at endurancerobots.com and have wonderful experience and visit our website endurancelasers.com and our online store endurance-lasers.com bye bye